Hi y'all, welcome again to Alaskan Ballistics. Man, it is gorgeous out here, I hope it doesn't rain. But it is still gorgeous. Some blue sunshine back that way. Hopefully it'll stay nice and dry for us. That's one thing about Alaska is the weather changes constantly with all the mountains and the air movement. Uh, 185 grain, Hornady FTX. I got seven of these left from my last video where I did a Glock 21 versus Glock 30. And we're gonna shoot them out of the Ruger 1911. Ruger 1911, and again, I'm borrowing this gun, so I may not be able to get to all your ammo requests, but we're gonna shoot the 185 grain. It's supposed to be going 1,000 feet per second. Not too terribly powerful or fast, but we'll see what it actually gets. Got just a little bit of that in the Glock 21, and a, you know, a lot less, a few less in the uh, Glock uh, 30. So hopefully in the five inch barrel, it'll get really good ballistics. 1911. Hornady Critical Defense. We got seven rounds left of this stuff, so we'll shoot five over the chronograph, then we'll shoot one into some cantaloupes and some water jugs. Ruger 1911, Hornady, 185 grain, Critical Defense. Gonna see how fast it goes. Box says it's supposed to be doing a thousand. I got seven rounds. This is a seven plus one magazine. Uh, I had seven rounds in the box. I showed you in the opener, but I found some more. I know are from the same box in my carry ammo, so I just pulled them out. Here we go. Thousand nine, thousand thirty four, thousand forty nine, thousand fifty six, thousand thirty two, thousand thirty one, and a thousand thirty seven. So, a little bit more velocity in the box, at least in the sixty degree weather, one thousand feet elevation that we're at right now. Not bad. Boy, this is a sweet shooting gun, and it does well with the factory magazine, and just I need to get me a 1911. Everybody put in the comments, make a little poll up here, which 1911 should Chuck get? The Ruger 1911 185 grain Hornady Critical Defense with their patented FTX bullet in it. We got an average muzzle velocity of 1,135.43 feet per second. Standard deviation of 14.95. Got an average muzzle energy of 440.52 foot pounds. So, way better than the box there. We were at about 1,000 feet of elevation. It was 60 to 65 degrees Fahrenheit with changing barometric pressure, light wind. This week's shout out goes to Gorillas and Guns. Good shooting videos and product reviews. Go check them out. Go check them out. Here we go, Ruger 1911, Hornady, critical defense, 185 grain, FTX. Nice little watermelon split there. Looks like we might have made it into the first jug. Nice little watermelon split there. Looks like we might have made it into the first jug. Okay, the bullet only went into one water jug. Floating on top right there, we have the little red plug that plugs the hollow point so that it doesn't clog. And split the water, it split the cantaloupe really well. The bullet's down here in the bottom of it. Right next to that lump of cantaloupe. I'll get it out. Here is the 185 grain. Hornady FTX, critical defense. There's a little plug right here. And there we go. Nice looking little round. Did its job, expanded. One cantaloupe, one water jug like most 45s do. Chuck from Alaskan Ballistics, signing out. Hashtag save CMAX, hashtag Justin's final mission, hashtag it's all about Jack, and hashtag guard every school.